What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you to understand the syntax for equations and formulas in families. So this is the last topic for the families exercise for the examination of Revit Mechanical Certification. So our objectives here are we're going to you're going to learn how to create formulas using the proper syntax and recognize the situations to use the formulas. Okay, so when creating family parameters, you can use a formula. Okay, so let's say for example, I'm gonna open the family of my air terminal here. Select that one and then I'm going to select your edit family. Okay, and then I'm gonna click this icon here, family types, for me to be able to open the family types dialog box wherein I can see all the parameters of that air terminal. Okay, so let's say for example, let's take note of our duct diameter. Here, you can use a formula. Okay, so basic mathematical operations can be used here under the formula column. Okay, so like for this example, two asterisk duct radius can be a formula for duct diameter. Okay. So 2 and then the asterisk symbol, so that is a multiplication symbol. And then you can use the parameter duct radius, which is this one. So just make sure if you are going to use any of the parameter here, so make sure you type the correct spelling, the correct capitalization. Because if you are going to type here is small letter R, so you select here apply so you will see this warning or error the following is not a valid parameter doc radius note that parameter names are case sensitive so make sure you type it correctly right capitalization okay so you can use formula like subtraction addition division uh, multiplication so you can do that a basic mathematical operation also additionally parameters can be set to be equal to one another for example my left arrow I want that to be equal to right arrow so all I have to do is I just need to type here right arrow right right arrow okay so right arrow so you can do that. So you can select here, apply. There you go. So you can be sure of that your left arrow is always equal to right arrow. Okay, so they are always equal. So ensure, it will ensure the parameters are always equal. And vice versa. You can also set the parameters to not equal to one another. So let's say, for example, my right arrow here. So for the right arrow, I'm going to type not. The word not, open and close parentheses, up, arrow. Okay? That one. Okay, so meaning to say it will not be equal to this parameter here. So I just select here, apply. Okay, so you can use that. Okay, so entering another parameter into the uh, formula field for another parameter will ensure the parameters are always equal if you use this one or not equal if you use not. All right. So by the way, why is it there's a default here next to my parameter name? So it might confuse you. All right. So let's say I'm going to remove this one backspace backspace and then I'm going to check this one again okay so let me select this parameter here and then I'm going to edit that that one all right okay so this is my right arrow so this time I'm gonna cancel this one I'm going to select this one so this parameter here or these parameters here they don't have the default word so what is the difference so I'm gonna select this one and then I'm going to edit this one as well so what's the difference Okay, so the parameters that have the default word beside the parameter name, that is an instance parameter. Okay, if your parameter here doesn't have the default word like this one, meaning that is a type parameter. So I already 
uh, discuss to you guys what is the difference between the type and instance so you can just go check my other videos for the families okay so basically that's the difference so if you see there's a there's a word default there so meaning that is an instance parameter so if i click this one you edit that believe me so that's an instance parameter right this one that is an instance parameter right so this one so that is a what type parameter okay because it doesn't have the default word there okay so that's it so parameters going back to our last exercise here so parameters can be set to be equal to one another or not equal to one another okay so what else let's move here so let's say for the mechanical flow so if statements can also be used if statements so if you are familiar with programming so they are using this kind of uh, formula so the if statements so for example uh, for the max flow i'm gonna put here an if statement so i'm gonna type if open and close parentheses flow so i'm gonna use the flow parameter okay by the way there will gonna be an error here so if i'm going to use the flow parameter to my formula max flow so there will gonna be an error why because this one is type parameter this one is an instance parameter okay because there is a default word beside the flow parameter so this is an instance and then this is a type parameter so that is another uh, thing that i want to teach you guys so you cannot use a formula if your parameter is a type parameter and then you will be using an instance parameter to your formula you cannot use that okay but just for the sake of this exercise i'm just trying to explain to you the if statement okay so if statement so if the flow is let's say greater than 500 comma the maximum flow will be 600 and then i'm going to put comma if it is less than the maximum flow will be 500 so that's the meaning of that if statement formula so if the flow is greater than 500 the maximum value will gonna be 600 if it is less than 500 so the maximum value will be 550 I'm not going to apply this one because if I, I apply this there's an error that will appear on my screen because I'm using an instance parameter to a type parameter uh, formula okay anyway I'm gonna show you apply see that's the error okay instance parameters can't be used in type parameter formulas anyway i'm just going to cancel this i'm just using this example here for the if statement so you see if my value here is 500 okay so the flow is equal to 500 so the maximum value is 550 but if i make this like 700 so the flow now is greater than 500 so the maximum value of that one is 600 so if i just click here i'm not going to apply i'm just click below here you will see what will happen to this value so i click here see so it's changed right but if i change this to let's say 200 and then i'll just click here so you see the maximum is 550 so that's the if statement uh, formula okay so hope that one is clear so i just type there 600 and then i'll just delete this formula okay right so i'll just pick here and there you go so if you do not want to type any formula of course you can always type the exact value that you want okay so that's it so we now understand the if statement so what else another thing in uh, creating your family parameter so make sure that your units are consistent okay because when the parameters with inconsistent units are used in a formula again that that's an error revit will display a dialogue stating this fact so for this uh, reason it is important to be aware of the units in use for each parameter like for example this one so what i want to do is i want my minimum flow to be equal to pressure drop 
take note that my minimum flow here, the unit here is CFM. But for the pressure drop, the unit is in dash WG. Okay, so that is the unit. So if I type here like a uh, pressure drop, pressure drop. So if I apply that one, cannot because inconsistent units. So we are using different units in dash WG against CFM. So it should be uh, correct. Okay, it should be the same uh, units. All right. So that's it for this uh, simple exercise regarding our uh, syntax, understanding the syntax for equations and formulas. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.